Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's kind of a gloomy, rainy morning out, but we're selling black walnut, so it's going to be a good day. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. Um, you've seen me saw a lot of different stuff and we've sawed walnut in the past and usually I set the camera up and just kind of saw and show you the end result but you know I realized when I saw in that cherry a few weeks back we talk about grade sawing and different types of sawing and I basically skim over it. Um, you know I, I give you the action of what's going on. Today we're going to do something different. I'm going to set up the camera. I'm going to saw this and I'm going to come back and do a voiceover and narrate it and give you the play by play. I'm going to kind of put you in my head and you'll get to know what I'm thinking and you get to watch along and see the decisions I make on how to saw this. Uh, this is a 14 inch walnut butt log, eight foot long. It's not the best in this batch. It's not the worst. It's like middle of the road. So I figured this would be a good log to do this on because it's not going to be all perfect and it's not going to be all low grade of course i won't know exactly what it is until i saw it but that's the whole point here um, so i'm not going to talk too much right now i'm going to just start sawing and i'll be back and tell you guys exactly what's going on as it's happening here we go so the first thing i'm doing here is rolling this log kind of looking at all the faces I always want to start with what I think is going to be the best face. Um, this log is pretty clean. In 100% full disclosure, the log you saw when I was doing the intro is not the log I'm actually showing you here. I sawed through that whole thing and it was actually too nice, if that makes sense. Um, there just wasn't a whole lot going on and I didn't think it was going to make the best video. Um, it's maybe the one time you'll ever hear me say that the log sawed out too nice, there were no knots in it. So I did a second one of a second log here, very similar in size and, and type. So we're taking our opening face cut here. Obviously you don't want to slab too heavy, but you want to open it up, especially with walnut that has a lot of sapwood. Um, you know, some sapwood is okay. I do have some customers that will accept some sapwood, but um, you know, you don't want an all white walnut board. It's not very desirable. So basically when we're grade sawing, we're trying to get the maximum amount of nice lumber that we can. Um, so basically the most select or FAS lumber possible out of the log. So basically what I'm doing here, I'm, I'm starting with what I thought was my best face and I'm just sawing clear boards until I hit a defect, uh, which in this case will be a knot. So we just saw through everything here I'm cutting is one inch. I also did cut some five quarter and eight quarter lumber out of this batch of logs, but for simplicity's sake, um, you know, this, this log here was all one inch. So you can see me flip it there um, so I can get a better look at it, look at the grade. And I have a helper with me today which helps speed things up tremendously because he can sort and edge and stack the stuff and I just have to worry about breaking down the logs. Uh, so that's, that's a tremendous advantage. So here I take another board. And I wasn't happy with what I was, you know, we were starting to see a little bit of knot develop. And plus, I don't want to get too far down on one face. I don't want to get too close to the center. Uh, that'll kind of jam me up later on. So now I flip, and I always flip 180 degrees. That's just typically the way I saw. Clamp, and we'll open up a second face. So 
So the same thing here. Uh, we just want to balance the opening face. Not super heavy, but enough to open it up, see what we're working with, get rid of some of that sapwood. Uh, there was a fair amount of sapwood in this batch of logs, um, which was actually a little bit more than I'd expect considering it was woods grown. Typically you'll see walnut that's grown in a field uh, will have a lot of sapwood, but if it's grown in you know standing timber, it usually doesn't have as much. Um, so I wasn't happy with that face. There was a defect there. So I skipped that and now I'm opening my third face. I don't have a laser on my mill. It's one thing I kind of wish I had, but it's not the biggest deal in the world. Um, a laser shoot a sight line down the log. That makes it nice for opening faces but I always just kind of eyeball it and sometimes I goof a little bit light and have to back up and cut again. Every once in a great while it'll be a little heavy, but I try to err on the light side. So that board has some, some weighing on the, the edge, that'll go to the edger and my helper's edging them. I gave him instructions on how to edge those. Um, you know, basically we're looking for the maximum width, um, trimming some of that sapwood off and just making nice clean boards. Nice presentable stuff. Um, typically the rule of thumb is you're allowed wane or bark on half the thickness of the board. Um, is acceptable, but with this walnut, I instructed him to edge a little bit heavier and take off some of that sapwood and leave no wane, so we have nice square edged boards. Fourth face. Just about have it cleaned up and squared, all the bark off. Now when I turned to this fourth face, I also made sure I set my scale. That slab is cut to scale so that I end up, you know, like I said, we're cutting one inch, which actually for me is inch and a sixteenth is what I, I tend to saw. Um, I, I feel like inch and an eighth is a little too heavy for our four quarter and one inch is too thin. Inch and a sixteenth is a nice balance. Uh, always gives me nice lumber that planes out to three quarters. But um, when I turn to that fourth face, I set the scale so that I end up, you know, I start at a point where I end up with even one inch boards that I don't have some weird, weird size left over. So now the trick here when you're grade sawing is to look back at your other faces. You know, you saw this face down, hopefully it opens up clear for you like this one did. And you take as many nice boards as you can off of this. There I am checking, you know, looking, uh, looking at the grade, making a, a decision. And now you can't see because the saw head's in the way, but I'm looking at my other faces. And I'm seeing, is there a better option for me here? Did I, you know, on one of those other faces was a knot in such a position that I kind of edged it off, so to speak, and now I can go back. You know, it's, well, here's a better look at me. Trying to figure out what is gonna give me my best possible board. And it looks like that's my best face. Let me make sure it's clamped square. Here I'll just use the computer set works and just drop a board width or a board thickness. I have to say, this is not a bad way to make a video. I can sit at my desk here and just uh, just talk to you guys. 
about the hardest part was finding some, some peace and quiet in this house that I uh, had time to record this. But the kids are in bed. I wasn't happy with that face. I still have just a, a little bit of wane there on that uh, that face, but all right, I'm going back to that one. And if I remember correctly, there was a knot at the end of the log there, is what I'm looking at. So my thought process is, I can cut that and I can still get a seven foot FAS board out of that. So that's that's what led me to that decision. Even though there's not on this face, I'll trim it back. And that's something I'll very commonly do with like 12 foot logs because you can still get 10 and eight foot. This was an eight foot log, so it doesn't allow you a whole lot of trim. But in Walnut, I have no problem cutting six and seven foot boards because there's still a, a pretty strong market for it. Especially like that's probably about eight inches wide. You know, if it's FAS with virtually no sap wood in it, um, you know, that's that's a sought after board. So I don't mind the shorter lengths there. It's not that much of a, a downgrade. As I remember, this next board would be the same situation. It's just going to get trimmed back. And if you noticed, I always have a lumber crayon on me. And a lot of times you can't see, unfortunately, because the saw head is in the way. Maybe I should have filmed this from the other angle. But um, I'll make marks on the boards, um, you know, so my stacker knows what stack to go on. Because I have two stacks going, a uh, select stack and a common grade stack. So I'll mark, or if it needs to be cut, I'll put a mark where it needs to be cut, um, just so he knows as it comes down the the rollers, you know, what he's doing with it. So it makes a pretty streamlined system. And those are powered rollers I have there. So I just kick them back onto the rollers. They roll to him. He'll take it to the edger or stick or stack it. And there you have it. That's a log complete. Now I saw all the way through this because I will make flooring out of that stuff. Uh, I don't do any pallet lumber. Our low grade is all flooring and uh, walnut flooring is actually pretty beautiful. So I, I actually don't mind the common stuff. In my mind, it's almost as nice as the select. Oh, here I come to get you guys. So I hope the narrator did a good job there of explaining what was going on. I really wish I would have two cameras in that situation so I could give you kind of a bird's eye view as the boards were coming off the mill. But uh, here you can see my mark for the grade and some nice boards. There's a little bit of sapwood on some of this stuff. I'm okay with that because I sell it to different buyers. Some people like the sapwood, some don't. Some of this stuff I'll probably re-edge a little bit when it comes out of the kiln. Other stuff I'll just put out for sale the way it is, you know, so I have a mix there for, for everybody. But um, this is actually our second stack of select grade. Uh, the other stack's already out on an air dry pad. Uh, this is the second stack of common also and this common I'll tell you what makes beautiful flooring so really nice stuff a um, little bit more sapwood in some of this stuff uh, but but nice in its own right so I just wanted to show you the uh, the finished product quick but a little bit different video hope you guys enjoyed it catch you on the next one